Respectful relationships means um, coming from a position of understanding, uh, knowing that people have uh, differing opinions. You know, you need to be able to respect difference and uh, not enforce your beliefs or opinions on someone that might not necessarily share those. Being thoughtful and being mindful and um, and being non-judgmental. I think the most important thing with respect for relationships is actually reflecting on yourself um, and being an ambassador for what you'd expect in other people. You've got to realise that everybody else has got as, uh, uh, as di many difficulties in their lives as you have and you've got to take that into consideration. It's how you should, how you should treat people rather than you know, saying, well, I'll only treat people as good as they treat me. I think it's actually more than that. Respect does not come overnight. Respect comes through time. It is about trust. Bottom line of any relationship is trust. Anything is secondary. What we learn about respect for relationships starts at home and comes from um, the relationships you have with your own family. For me, the respect begins at home and that's where it should um, be the foundation, if you like. As a mother, meeting my children in their formative years and growing up and as teenagers, meeting them where they're at and guiding them, but respecting them at the same time, allowing them to have their space. It's just really important to remember that, that they're people at the same time and that they're your family as well and that you want to, you know, um, put your point across, but be respectful at the same time. Because what you do for yourself on a personal level and your family unit, that's what embodies outside externally as well. So the family unit is the structure of the community. You know, whenever there is a situation, we tend to, um, you know, really focus inside. So what I try to do is take a step back and see both sides and not only what their opinions are, but what shapes their opinions. Let people have their say, let people vent. We respect the relationship more than the argument that we might be having. And I think that's a really, really important point that most people forget is that our marriage is solid and the intruder is the argument. I think that honesty, honesty is the key to, to having a very fruitful, productive relationship. Allow someone to be heard, allow someone to be who they want to be. Don't control them, don't impose your will on them. Um, because we're all human and we're all entitled to be treated with dignity and self-respect. Because if you know, you're not respected, you don't feel valued. And if you don't feel valued, then where is the relationship? You know, we're all in this world to make a connection with each other. And, you know, you can have money, power, um, influence, position. None of that makes any sense if you don't have a relationship with people and you don't have connections with people and you need to have respect in order to have effective connections and relationships. We often take liberties with our own families that we wouldn't out in the public space. We, you know, we're, we, we're at times better behaved outside than we are in our own homes. We all fail it from time to time. We say things that we later regret. We, we do things that we later think, you know, that wasn't the best choice. And that's understandable because it's human. But there should be that capacity for reflection in those cases to say, I'm going to try to be better than that. The best we can do is not just about accepting but also respecting our differences as a basis of our common ground. Really it just comes down to giving people the respect that you'd expect. It's all about honesty um, and then just going out of your way to help each other. We need to be fostering and cultivating um, the qualities in people, the skills in people that allow them to be positive members of a community. Being prepared to come down or, or come up or uh, shift sideways, whatever it takes, relate to different people in, in different ways. Always assume that, that people do the right thing and never assume that they will do the wrong thing. Basically wear their lenses for a couple of minutes to see things from, from their end. The important thing is to remember that everybody's in, got dignity and um, inherent to themselves and potential to be more than what they are. Respect cannot be demanded it actually has to be earned. That's the only way you can actually have a mutual relationship and resolve difficult situations.
self-awareness, openness, honesty, listening, equality, compassion, empathy, 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 integrity, acceptance, openness, impartial, communication, communication, understanding, 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 listening, love, wisdom, patience, acceptance, trust, honour, dignity, decency, appreciation, appreciation, appreciation. There you go.